this is E-Prime, it's Ford's pilot line where we're testing new electrification technologies, so it's kind of our factory of the future. And one of the most important technologies we want is 5G communications. And this is where we're going to try it for the very first time here within the Ford Motor Company. So if you want to come with me, we'll take a look around. This is our laser welder, and we're using this to generate very quick, high amounts of heat to fuse pieces of copper together and therefore make a perfect circuit. As we do that, we collect data and that makes sure that we know your car is perfect and they won't have any issues. That data is incredibly important to us and that's why 5G will be critical going forward. It's also about connecting experts that are in another place like TWI and bringing them to us so that they can help us with this incredibly difficult technology that we're trying to master. Now, technologies exist already for capturing all of that kind of data, but it's often many gigabytes of information. 5G will enable those kinds of large volumes of data to be moved around within companies and organizations with greater ease. So 5G has allowed us to actually gather data much faster. It allows us to gather a much wider range of data, which we can place in a database and use at any time we need it, which allows the actual production of these parts to go much faster. So I'm here today with some VR equipment. It allows us to familiarise with the process without having built equipment, because there's always additional costs with having to rework. Whereas in a digital world, we are much more flexible and it's a lot quicker to make changes. So having 5G is going to mean that all of the machines are going to be connected to a singular PC. And this means that we don't have to have separate PCs on every single workstation. We can go to one area where we can collect all of the data and be able to assess it there. And we want to look at different ways of connecting our factories and that's why we're looking at 5G and working with Vodafone in this facility. 